Hey everyone, it's Ruby here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now in today's video, I really wanted to sit down and share with you how I like to take some of my favorite day-to-day -day concealers and transform them into beautifully wearing, long-lasting, long-wearing concealers that won't budge over a large blemish, over like clusters of acne and post-acne marks. So if you are sick and tired of your concealer rubbing off your face throughout the day, then this video is definitely for you now. If you love what I do, then please hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell because it's not enough to subscribe to my channel to get my videos, like you have to be notified now. So hit that notification bell and we shall get stuck into the video. So as you can see, I have quite problematic skin, which can be really frustrating and some days it really does get to me, which is why I'm making this video. As a direct result of using medicated lotions and creams, my skin often gets really dry, flaky and crusty, which is why I like to use the face halo to lift and dislodge flaky bits of skin without causing irritation and redness. This is a gentle microfiber disc that not only helps to remove makeup, but it also helps to polish and refine the skin, especially if you do have textured skin like I do. I hold the face halo lightly to my face and use circular motions to help buff away the dead skin cells. The best part is no redness and no irritation. So I'm gonna go right ahead and apply my primer. This is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer and I am beyond thrilled that this is part of their permanent collection because it once was limited edition. I use this to prime my entire face. This is a great primer if you do have a drier skin type. So it is going to be kind to your skin without over drying and making your makeup feel tight throughout the day. If you do have dry skin, this primer literally feels like a skincare product. Moving on to foundation, I am using a lightweight Chanel foundation that is going to mimic healthy looking skin. I'm also going to be applying it using a sponge for a really nice sheer, glowy and skin like finish. I feel like people who have problematic skin would often gravitate towards foundations that have a really really full coverage and a matte finish. I'm saying that because it is something that I used to do. I felt like I needed to create a a mask almost all over my skin um, instead of concealing the areas that needed it because I feel like I have good skin but I do have some imperfections. So I highly recommend that you use a foundation that mimics your skin, that looks exactly like skin, is formulated for your skin type and matches your skin color and your complexion spot on. So this right here is actually the hero of this video, but I wanted to make sure that I got every ounce of information in as to why I use each product and in what order. Now, after I applied my foundation, I like to use the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is a tacky product and your concealer is literally going to latch onto this glitter glue like no other product or primer on the market. I like to use my finger to apply the glitter glue onto my skin. I just find that I get a small amount and the warmth of my finger helps to blend out the product. Now the concealer that I'm using over top is the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer. This concealer has been formulated to work really well underneath the eyes for dark circles and not blemishes, but I just wanted to use this concealer as an example of how the glitter glue can help any concealer perform well over a blemish if you use it underneath. I personally like to use my finger to tap out the concealer because it gives my skin a really nice skin-like finish, but you can of course use a brush or a sponge. Now to lock this in place, I highly recommend that you set it using a little bit of powder. This can be a loose translucent powder with a brush that I applied on the other side of my face, or if you have more breakouts than usual, then you can definitely use a powder foundation with a sponge over the areas that need it, both coverage wise and also to help the longevity by using the powder to lock in the creams. So this is what my skin looks like directly after I've applied my makeup. Now I've also applied some contour, a little bit of highlight just to finish off my face so I can go out into the world. Um, but I also wanted to come back and show you what my skin looks like right now after the eight hour mark, nine hour mark. And as you can see, my skin, like the blemish areas are still well covered. 
And that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it super helpful and informative. Now, I know this video was all about how to conceal your problematic skin and how to conceal blemishes and acne and whatnot. But I wanted to let you know that if you don't want to wear makeup and you do have blemishes, then you don't have to conceal them. You can go out bare face and be brilliant and beautiful and bold and you can wear makeup and be the exact same thing. Um, if you don't want to wear makeup, you know, a certain day, then you don't have to. And if you feel like going all out with your makeup and concealing every little imperfection, like full on pinpoint concealing, then it is your right to. And if it makes you feel good, then honey, do it. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it's okay to have problematic skin. And if you want to wear makeup, you can wear makeup. And if you don't want to wear makeup, then you don't have to wear makeup. I remember when I was in high school and having problematic skin, people were like, oh, you should really like cover it up. And it's like, well, I should really not listen to you and do whatever the fuck I want. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say at the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day or night wherever you are and I will chat to you really soon. Mwah! I love you. Bye.